Welcome back, Golly Vice family. Pray everybody is well. Um, I don't know who's who caught the debate the other day. Now I was very interesting interested in watching this, even though I didn't get a chance to. I was uh, I was um, I was out of state actually doing shows, so I didn't really get a chance to watch this. I started watching a little bit of it, didn't really get a chance too much to watch it. However, today it was on my desk. And I've seen, so I, I have seen different clips of it. And I want to show one of the clips that I happen to see. On the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look, we had the safest border in the history of our country. We got $2 trillion tax cut benefited the very wealthy. I, what I'm going to do is fix the tax system. For example, we have a thousand trillionaires in America. I mean, billionaires in America. And what's happening? They're in a situation where they, in fact, pay 8.2 percent in taxes. If they just paid 24 percent, 25 percent, either one of those numbers, they've raised 500 million dollars, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10-year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look. My Lord, my Lord. Listen, even those people who are still voting Joe, Still Team Joe. You have to really say to yourself, like, this guy, is, he's not fit to be running the United States of America. I mean, even when his wife said, Joe, you did such a good job. You answered every question. That's the type of stuff you say to your child who did good in the spelling bee. I mean... Son, you did you did such a good job. You answered every question, baby boy. You answered every question, and you did such a good job. You answered it right. You answered it correctly. You did the best you could possibly do. I'm so proud of you, son. She was doing that to her husband, the president of the United States of America. I can't thank you all enough for staying and for being here and for all your support. such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. Joe, like, <laughs> let's see. Joe's like, Joe be in his own world. Joe said, oh my God, he's not fit to be the president. I don't, listen, you have to understand that. You see the, you see the, the, the route that the, the, the states has taken under his administration. Listen to me. This isn't even about Trump, Biden. This is specifically about Biden. If Biden's administration takes over again, the United States is done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's already on the verge of being completely lost. All the immigrants coming in, all the, the stuff that they, that they are okay with, they as in Joe, as in Kamala, listen, they're okay with seven-year-olds changing their genders. They're okay with um, reproduction rights and, and, and affirmative health care. Um, they're okay with changing your, your gender. Pretty much no matter what the age, they're okay with that. They made it known. Okay. They're okay with people being in a delusional space mentally. They're okay with it. Have you seen the different type of people that they have in the white house have visiting these, these people? Men with beards, but dresses and 
uh, different hormonal shots, making them look like women. Have you seen what's in the house, the White House? Do you know all these different leaders are laughing at us right now? We're showing weakness. And you got people out here who are really saying, go Joe. We're showing weakness. Do you not see that yet? I mean, my Lord, what more needs to happen? Kamala Harris, which is the vice president, is marching in the trans parades. It's showing weakness, my friends. And let me ask the crowd, what did Trump do? Why don't you just take over at this point? Joe's on a string. We all can see it, JoJo. I mean, it's like um, a son and his mother, a toddler, even Jill helping him off stage. President making their way off the CNN debate stage. Looks like uh, Jill Biden, the first lady, uh, she has, has come to out grab him Trump to lead him. Stage. The first debate of the 2024 campaign and the earliest presidential debate ever now in the books and in front of the voters tonight, along with Aaron Burnett, the first word that's wild. those voters might make of it from our Remember political the president of the United States. Flash that's wild. And swing state focus group. We'll be talking to surrogates, including Vice President Harris, getting fact checks from our Daniel. And listen, I'm not I don't want to I'm not saying this in a way where I'm trying to clown Joe Biden because he's an old man. That's natural. That's normal. If you have a grandma or a grandpa who is older in age, you help them places. You help them on, off the couch. You help them in, out of the car. That's normal. That's natural. However, it shouldn't be for the president of the United States. Are you getting me? Am I? I are we here? Are we here? It's showing weakness. I'm trying to tell y'all, if this man is in office another four years, the USA is done. And I love the USA, man. Love my country. Um, it's a blessing to be from here. It really, truly is. The land of the free, where you can, well, you used to be able to say what you want. Now they're trying to make it a point where you get fined by telling truth. Lord have mercy. But for the most part, man, this country is like un unlike any other country. That's so why so many, so many people want to come here. And I'm, for one, feel blessed to be an American. I don't know how you feel. That's your choice. That's your prerogative. Me, I feel blessed to be an American. I hate what's going on with the country right now. I hate that we're, we're in the predicaments that we're in. I hate the, the bills that are trying to be passed. They're wicked. They're evil. They're not of God. But may the Lord turn it around. Hallelujah. And listen. I'm team Jesus. I've said it plenty of times. This isn't about a Biden or Trump thing. But I can tell you this. If Biden continues in office, the U.S. is done. The U.S. is done. May the Lord turn it around. Hallelujah. And may the U.S. be a symbol of strength again. Amen. And may we come back into God's law. May we come back into true moral values and not rewarding people for mental illness. It's the truth. May we not have an administration and a, 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 a leading system that's rewarding actions that are not of God. Because that's exactly what's going on. It's sick. It's sick, it's wicked, it's evil, and it's, we it's evil in a way where they try to make it look good. They're giving you evil in a good looking way. <laughs> That's exactly what they're doing. You ever, you ever met somebody who you may think is beautiful, but their heart is wicked? That's what they're doing. May more people begin to see that. May the truth begin to come out even more. Hallelujah. May more people wake up and understand that we need to get back to God. Because only when we're with God and connected with God, we're out of confusion. But when we are separate from God, we are in confusion. And that's exactly 
with the leadership of this country is they are separate from God. That's why they're okay with confusion. May the Lord turn things around. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Amen. Love you guys. God bless you.